reasons why Nota Groups rejects UN's demand for Kano's release. Now the news in full. The coalition of the Nota Groups CNG on Friday condemned the United Nations demand for the release of the detained leader of the indigenous peoples of Biafra, IPOP, Nandi Kano. UN Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detection had on June 24 indicted the Nigerian and Kenyan government for the arrest and extraordinary reduction, torture, and continued detention of the IPOP leader. Hence, the UN asked the Nigerian government to immediately release the activists unconditionally. The global body also directed the federal government to pay compensation to Kano for alleged violation of his rights. The EPUB leader who was brought back to Nigeria on June 27 last year is standing trial for alleged treasonable felony as the federal court Federal High Court Abuja. He will return to court in November for the continuation of his trial. The coalition, which comprises of 52 Nanta groups, breeded the call for the UN as buyers. The spokesman for the coalition, Adu Azi Sule, who addressed journalists at the media briefing Abuja, accused the UN of favoring other regions in the country. He asked the federal government to reject the demand. Sule said it is unacceptable to Nigeria and Nigerians, and in particular to the North, that the United Nations will endorse the platform and space to be used by Kano and Hip Hop in promoting anarchy and campaigning for genocide in Nigeria. We demand the United Nations to immediately withdraw the call for the unconditional release of Nandi Kano from the lawful custody of Nigeria authority. The CGN cautioned the United Nations that the, their interventions, exclam exclamation, and action should never be drawn to discontinence the effort of Nigeria state to protect citizens from violence and to impose law and order. We therefore call on federal government of Nigeria to maintain the sanctity, dignity, and integrity of Nigeria and uphold the defense and defend its unity in sovereignty by resisting and rejecting such demand from any quarter. Lastly, it is important to caution the United Nations to weigh the impact and consequences of the backing this of the backing these perpetrators of indiscriminate violence, water destruction and collective mayhem that vehemently hope it will engulf the entire country and bring about another civil war and mass killing and suffering of innocent people. I don't understand all this nonsense. I don't understand them. So you think United States, you think uh, United Nations now, they are now, they are, they are non-entity. They don't know what they are doing. You can imagine. You are saying they are buyers. That that is not the rightful step for them to take. You can imagine. So you don't know more than United Nations. You know more than them. I don't know how all these people are actually saying the Entire thing, you know, the, I'm talking about the Northerners, even as well as the Abdul, Aziz Suleiman, the spokesman for the coalition. You can imagine that the UN are biased. Okay, I just I don't want to speak much on over this one, but can you pay the consequences of trying to uh, not to go by? the demand of the UN. Can you pay the consequences? Because there are consequences. Therefore, my listeners and my viewers had the work actually be your take on the reaction of 
Abdul Aziz Suleiman, the spokesman for the coalition. We are talking about the coalition of the NOTA group CGN. It has reacted that, that what the, the demand Fernando Cano's release that they can never work without demand from you and what can be your take? Would they be right? What we are talking about the the coalition of northern groups. Would they be right or not? Please you can react to that. I believe we we'll do justice to your viewers opinion thank god the viewers comment already rolling in bit by bit the first one is from edwin patrick he say continue <laughs> okay <laughs> they're from chance aladu <laughs> cng cng is, is a laughable organization with a bunch of illiterates <laughs> i think so in fact, I think so as well. <laughs> okay, then you know he rules. Say deaf and dumb like Pharaoh. <laughs> let my people go. No, let my people go. No, the next thing na red sea them find themselves. May God give worry wisdom over this. Oh, <laughs> will be called to free that man. Be wise. <laughs> Noble Ike, Nigeria shame. Shame the shame you. <laughs> I thank a mad wow for making the UN to say this. So <laughs> you can imagine you, you UN <laughs> world organization. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That I are trying to play with. Hmm. Then from Sunday, Noali, you say you can. You say you call the directive. Bias itself, determination breakdown of law and order in Africa, Fulani, is set is a set of people who created problem and they are allowed to find solution to to the same predicament they created. You can imagine. <laughs> they will pay for the pay for every of their evil they have done to this country. They can't go scot-free. Then from Shuku Kiri Lawrence, say he must be released. You people are just messing up. Can you do away with the structure, with the demand of UN? World powers. <laughs> World powers. <laughs> I don't know. These are really actually the, the abortion of illiterate. You can imagine. Therefore, my listeners are there. I think we are wrapping it. <laughs> Please endeavor to subscribe to the channel and also ensure that you share this news to all social media platforms. If you do so, we believe the Almighty God will do the need for your life. Bye bye.